been on a hair journey for the last couple of years. Ever since all my hair fell out because of Graves disease, I've really wanted long and healthy hair. I've tried everything. I've tried coconut oil. I've tried all different hair products underneath the sun. I found a couple of things that worked and I did notice a difference in my hair, but I never found something that truly like wowed me. So recently I was invited to a hair specialist here in Dubai and the place is called Harkliniken. I learned so much from my visit and my hair has completely changed. So all my life I've thought I had straight hair. Turns out I have curly hair. That was the biggest like aha moment for me that I think I've had on my hair journey. So now I've completely changed what I've been doing and how I've been taking care of my hair. So let me share with you some of the incredible things I learned when I visited the hair clinic. So it turns out I had been taking care of my hair completely wrong. I had been using the wrong type of products on my hair and also styling my hair wrong for my hair type after I'd washed it. Now I have this wonderful new range of hair care that I use. So let me just take you through what I do. I have a balancing shampoo that cleanses and neutralizes my scalp. After that, I use a restorative shampoo which helps for hydration and to grow my hair. I use a daily conditioner and also I have an intense hydrating hair mask. I've always thought that it was good to wash your hair like every couple of days, maybe once a week. I thought that letting the natural oils of my hair kind of like build up and then go through to the ends is what was gonna restore my hair. But it turns out that's not true. I was told that I should be washing my hair every two days because hair growth comes from your scalp and you wanna have a clean scalp and stimulate the hair follicles there because that's what's going to ultimately encourage hair growth. So by washing your hair every two days, you're cleansing the scalp and keeping it healthy. I also thought that you needed to put shampoo the whole way down your hair all the way to the end, and that's not true either. I use a couple of pumps of my shampoo. Now I use two shampoos. So first I use the balancing one to cleanse my scalp. Then I use a restorative one to hydrate and promote hair growth. I take a little pump on my hand, I foam it up, and then I just keep it here on my scalp, and I use my fingers to give myself a massage like this. So this stimulates the hair growth and gives my scalp a really good clean. We want to remove the oil buildup, the dust, and you know all the grime that can get into our hair. And then in the long run, that's going to help us grow our hair longer. So after that, I use my conditioner and I take about five pumps and I apply that from here to the ends and I let that sit for a couple of minutes. So now that I'm washing my hair every two days, I alternate between using the conditioner and the hair mask. The difference in my ends is huge. Hair growth comes from your scalp, but then you don't see a difference in your length if you've got dead ends and split ends because you'll find that it all breaks off and you just don't get the length that you're after. Another thing that I've done to change up my hair routine is I used to use like a leave-in conditioner every couple of days, but I wasn't really consistent with it. I was told that I should be using a leave-in conditioner two to three times a day. I couldn't believe that because I'd never done that before. So I use this morning and night and sometimes if I do feel that my ends are a little dry, I'll apply it again throughout the day. So they explained to me that you should be using a leave-in conditioner like you would use a hand moisturizer because your hair is a living organism and needs to be hydrated. The same way that your hands will dry throughout the day and you apply some cream to it, you need to be doing the same to your hair. So we had a big talk about how a disease like Graves' disease and thyroid disease can impact your hair growth and your hair texture. So let me just go through some of the interesting points that we spoke about during my consultation. I have all the notes here on my iPad, so I'll be reading from here. Hormonal imbalances and prolonged sickness can cause hair loss. So if you have not just a disease, like an autoimmune disease, but if you have a virus for more than five days, you will start to see a difference in your hair. So you might start to lose hair and the texture might change. So like I just mentioned, you need to be using a leave-in moisturizer up to three times a day, the same way that you would use a hand cream. Wash your hair every second day to remove buildup, dirt, and dust. Only use shampoo on the scalp of your hair and then massage for a few minutes to help stimulate the scalp. So you wash your hair and the shampoos 
all kept here on the scalp but then when you rinse it off that's when it rinses through your lengths and removes any product that you might have on your hair a healthy scalp will give you healthy hair hydrated lengths will stop breakage and in time give you long hair now this was something that i found really interesting because since all my hair fell out from graves disease it's grown back different so i have a lot more gray hair now i also found that just the texture of my hair was different so it was like it's a lot drier now than it ever has been it just felt different so my whole life i've had straight hair now the curliness the products have brought out my natural texture my mother and grandma both have curly hair and as they said as they got older their hair got curlier so that's what's happening to me right now using these products it's just really helped me to find that natural curl in my hair because what I was using before was too heavy and was weighing it down so instead of me having like these waves it was just really fluffy and like had like a little bit of a wave but it didn't like I always either had to curl it or straighten it for it to look any good I couldn't just scrunch it and then let it dry and I would have curls like this so she said after a significant health issue like a thyroid disease it's common for your hair to grow back with a different density or texture such as thinner gray dull or dry and lacking hydration which all of that was me to a T I experienced all of that so if you are going through a hair journey, just know that it takes time. I believe that investing in your hair, if that's something that you are wanting to improve, really makes a difference. So don't use the cheap products that you can get from the supermarket. Try and get some advice from a hair expert and then use the products that are right for your hair type. I hope these tips helped you and you found it interesting. I know I certainly did and I've just completely changed my routine. And as you can see, as a result of that, my hair has completely changed. So thank you so much for watching today and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.